All right, welcome back. Well, there are films that give us a window into our past, videos documenting the history of South Florida spanning more than a century, now getting a modern upgrade. The films and videos are part of the archive at Miami-Dade College's Wolfson campus, and the collection is still growing. Bob Mayer gives us a peek inside the vault. It is, for all intents and purposes, a time machine, an ingenious project that will now allow any of us, no matter our age, to be an eyewitness to Florida's history dating back to the early 1900s, when Henry Flagler completed the first railroad into Key West. Set the time machine to September 1926 to see the effects of the deadly 26 hurricane that devastated Miami. Jump to 1980 and you'll see the Mariel boat lift, or to 1992 to witness Hurricane Andrew. The controls for the time machine can be found in the downtown Wolfson campus of Miami-Dade College. It's the Lynn and Lewis Wolfson II Moving Image Archive, a repository of historic film and videotape focusing on the birth and growth of South Florida. The goal of the Wolfson Archive is to clean, repair, to salvage all of the film and videotape here to ensure its availability to future generations. It's a sophisticated temperature and humidity controlled vault aimed at preserving 35,000 hours of videotape and 23 million feet of film. The effort is a Herculean race against time. Every tape has to be repaired by hand. Every foot of film has to be examined and cleaned manually before the ravages of time literally disintegrate the images. You can't reverse damage, but all you can do is really slow it down, and that's really where we're at with our collection. And for that reason, all of the archives, film, and tape is now being digitized, transferred from their deteriorating formats to giant secure hard drives, all made possible by state-of-the-art electronic equipment. And essentially what it enables us to do is load uh, something like 60 tapes into the system, and as you can hear now, there's an actual robotic arm that goes and grabs the tapes and pops them into the, tapes, the tape decks and does a transfer uh, digitally of the material that's on the tape to these systems over here. These are actually just like souped up computers. The archive began taking shape in the mid 80s with a donation of 35 years of news, film and videotape from WTVJ. Financial support came from the Wolfson family, original owners of WTVJ, which was the first TV station in our state and for years the only station in South Florida. The donation was the brainchild of Ralph Rennick. Good evening, everyone. Tuesday, October 6th, and here are tonight's Florida and local news briefs. The anchor and news director who steered WTVJ News from its very beginnings in 1949 to his retirement in 1985. But Rennick never dreamed that all of us would one day have access to that historical footage right from our own homes. Our entire collection is searchable online via our website, wolfsonarchives.org. Anything that we have that's digitized is streaming via our website. The archives work never stops. Just as I donated some of my own personal videotapes and films, so can you, even your home movies. The best part, the Wilson Archive will give you a digital copy of anything you donate for free. In Miami, Bob Mayer, NBC6.